but the Cologne fans always turn out in huge numbers to celebrate their side. Podolski no longer the captain. Jeremel, the man wearing the captain's armband. Wolfsburg in the green, playing from left to right in the first half. Patrick Ox, new signing from Frankfurt. Manjukic, the ball cleared by Rensing. That stole a soul back and the new coach in Cologne, Norwegian by birth, had great success in Denmark with FC Copenhagen. 17 minutes played and then a mistake by Pezzoni in defence for Cologne. Patrick Helmers, the man who used to play for Cologne before he went to Leverkusen and then on to Wolfsburg, hammering the ball under the body of the diving Rensing. Almost a gift for Wolfsburg, but the goal well taken by Patrick Helmers. Just over half an hour played, a corner from Schaefer. And luck for the Cologne defence. Kier gets ahead on it, Roos new signing from Frankfurt. Buries it goalwards, but Mandzukic is in the way, performing a favour for the Cologne defence. Once again, Russi shot. It comes on Mandzukic and Sally Hamidic can't react quickly enough. Just on half time, a free kick from Lukas Podolski. Nobody gets anything on it, and the free kick almost deceiving Diego Bernalio for Wolfsburg. But half time, with the Cologne mascot looking on, 1 0 for the visitors. Into the second half, 54 minutes played. A terrible pass inside. Mandzukic, Tresh with a wonderful opportunity. Look at that for frustration. How on earth did he fail to put that one away? Felix Maga showing no emotion whatsoever, but we know that from him anyway. 65 minutes played. And Petzoni, who by now is having a nightmare. What a wonderful opportunity for Helmers to grab his second. And he can't believe it. Two terrible mistakes by Petzoni within the space of ten minutes. Two minutes later, it was Cologne's chance to put Wolfsburg under pressure. Great shot coming in by Chihi just over the crossbar. Once again. 69 minutes played. Well, Chi must be wondering what he's got to do to put the ball in the net. The corners from Podolski, the header from Jeremel. Great header. But over the bar again from Chi. Cologne squandering their chances. Four minutes later. Mandzukic involved in absolutely everything. Schaefer with the cross. Good effort by Helmers just wide of the far post. It was end-to-end -end stuff. Could Cologne grab the equaliser? On this occasion, they came so close. Petschko, the substitute, thumping the ball against the post. The Cologne fans, they reckon that the equaliser was bound to come. Twelve minutes to go. Spurred on by their fans, that was Novakovic. Normally, he would finish those off with his eyes closed. A wonderful opportunity, but he scuffs the chance. Only a minute later, Cologne looking very dangerous indeed. Novakovic goes down. Was he pulled down by Russ? He thinks he was. Novakovic absolutely furious. Once again, we see that he has a case in slow motion. There was contact with Roos, but referee Grafer not happy at all with either. Gives both the yellow card and then remembers that he'd shown Novakovic yellow in the first half. So Novakovic had to be sent off. And then just five minutes later, the corner from Schaefer deceives absolutely everyone, including Michael Rensing in goal for Cologne. It was a goalkeeping error. Wolfsburg with just four minutes on the clock. 
go two goals to nil in the lead now we are just three minutes over the 90 in the dying seconds Mandzukic Helmus loses Jeromel who cuts a poor figure Helmus with a second it is the final nail in the Cologne coffin beautifully taken by Helmus Solbakken's first game in the league in charge of Cologne ends in defeat and what a defeat it was. Three goals to nil. Wolfsburg triumph. Stuttgart at the newly rebuilt Mercedes-Benz Arena. Increasing the capacity to 5,000 more than last season. The track and field is gone and now this is a football stadium. Over 60,000 here today for day one for Stuttgart. And the visiting team were Schalke. Both of these two teams with a poor season last time out. Stuttgart finished 12th, whereas Schalke finished 14th in the league. Schalke, of course, going all the way through to the semi-finals of the Champions League and winning the DFB Pokal, the German FA Cup. We joined the game in the 12th minute and the first opportunity. Arnick in the centre, almost getting the better of Fermat. Stuttgart here in white. The home team after the cross from Gentner. Royal Blues are one of Bruno Labbadia's favourite teams to play against. The 45 year old coach hasn't lost a single one of his five Bundesliga matches against Schalke. Came back into the game for 16 minutes. The free kick from Fuchs. Bad effort. Lost by Ulmoyc. And finally cleared away by Thomas Heinar, the Hungarian. Fuchs, the Austrian international, new signing from Mainz. Ulmoyc between the posts. Play the blinder. 25 minutes gone. Free kick for Baum Johan. And take a look at the big Greek in the centre. Papadopoulos found himself some room. Couldn't quite make the target. Kyriakos Papadopoulos. Man came last year from Olympiakos Piraeus, the youngest player of all time when he was just 15 years of age there in the Greek first division. Three minutes later, and the game started to get exciting. The visiting team, Schalke, turning over pressure. Then with Bam Johan, and then Raoul with the header. Just turned 34 years of age in summer. And that is the head coach from Schalke, the man that took over from Felix Magert. Coach Ralph Rangnick. But it's never beat the Stuttgart away from home. And it was the home team who got the first goal of the game on 37 minutes. Kakao, the German international, celebrating in style after the corner taken by Thomas Heiner. It was Maza in the centre. The 29-year-old New Mexican signing just coming from PSV Eindhoven with a terrific header. And then the flick on from the German-Brazilian Kakao. He could be playing against Brazil on Wednesday. International friendly for the Germans just a few days after this match. And they're starting to turn it on now just before the half-time whistle. Heinrich involved, so too Kakao. And the goalkeeper, Ralph Fairman, between the posts for Manuel Neuer, who went to Bayern Munich at the end of last season. There he is, Yogi Löw, together with his assistant, Hansi Flick. Seeing a highly entertaining game of football. On 51 minutes, the header from Christ, Thomas Heinar in the centre to Harnik. And again, the 22 year old keeper, Fairman, was there. The final rebound from Kakao put wide of the target. The Stuttgart enjoying themselves at this stage of the game. 56 minutes. The Italian Molinaro, great delivery, and the delivery from inside the box from Mr. Harnick was even better. 2 0 for Stuttgart for 56 minutes of play. Great way for the home crowd to celebrate the inauguration of their new season. For the past two seasons, this ground has been rebuilt, and now the team almost rebuilding themselves. Great start to the campaign, 2-0 already. And Bruno Labbadia, finally the weight falling off his shoulders. 
Hainal's free kick on 65 minutes. Taski's header and Kakao again involved. That was nomination for that game against Brazil on Wednesday. He really was willing to impress his German head coach watching from the sidelines. And also that man, Labadia. With 15 minutes remaining though, it was the visiting team who came close, but not close enough. Cross from Draxler. Moravec in the centre. Ulua is perfectly positioned with a tremendous reflex action. And then the final header from Papadopoulos not able to beat the keeper. Five minutes remaining. And it almost got better and better. Christian Gentner, a 25-year-old, not able to lob the keeper and put it between the posts. And then, with a minute to go, this came on a few minutes before, Shinji Okazaki, the Japanese international. Sit back and enjoy. What a strike. 3-0 for Stuttgart against Schalke. Shinji Okazaki, the man that has scored 21 goals in 40.